July 27, 2022, Black Desert came out with a new season called Dawn of Dragons. If you create seasonal character today and level it up, you will receive all kinds of amazing rewards, as well as XP buffs, season character exclusive season pass missions, and when you graduate your seasonal character, you will also receive graduation rewards. And when I say rewards, I mean different fail stacks, crown stones, some cafras, memory fragments, and so on, as well as some gear that you can later on exchange for boss gear. Therefore, I decided that I will participate in this, and so I need to create myself a new character. Okay, and this is where you can choose if you want a regular character or a season character. And of course, I'm going for season character. And here you can choose your class. Drakani is of course the newest one, which probably a lot of people getting, but I am thinking of getting myself Shy. Ever since Shy came out, she was very popular, I see a lot of people playing her. I am told that her skill set isn't that difficult to maneuver, so your fingers don't fall off if you decide to grind on her. She also can complete a specific quest to get a free llama mount, and I know I wanted that llama for a while, so maybe this is the main reason, I don't know. Okay, so now I choose create, and I need to pick a name for her, which is like the most important part when you create a new character to me anyways. I have a name picked out, I don't know if it will be available, but if it's not, then I will try different spelling variations. But let's see first if this one is available. Okay, and they don't have it, then we'll try a different spelling. And this name is available, so I will stick with this one. I will create a character and then I will work on her appearance later. And sticking with this name. And the new character has been created, there she is, so let's enter. Some sort of cutscene. Okay, so I have to do this tutorial, I suppose. Okay, so I start out in the desert. Is it like my first combat thing? Oh! Well, I wish everything was that easy. Okay, there's few of them now. I'm a ninja. Well, this is a big boy. I guess I just have to follow him and I need to kill him. Moving like a snail here. I guess it's supposed to be that way. The noises that she makes, that's really cute. Okay, I guess I'm done here. As I was saying, I'm surprised she's in the desert. 
I expected her to be like maybe in Kamasulia. I think that's just the vibe that she was giving. Here I'm at Crossroads, Ancient Stone Chamber, recommended for new adventurers, awaken near the mysterious ruins and experience the story of Black Desert from the beginning. Or I can go with Mountain of Eternal Winter, recommended for veteran adventurers, experience brief flashbacks encountering the story thus far, then awaken in the Mountain of Eternal Winter. I am not a new adventurer and as much as I would like to experience from the beginning, I cannot stand desert. This is my least favorite area, so I'm not really sure what should I go here with to make it more interesting of a video but i think i have to go with mountain of eternal winter just because i love that area as opposed to the desert so this is where i'm gonna go with start your adventure Continue here and accept. I guess this is a new quest for me. Journey begins. The old priestess. Let's listen to the old woman who has introduced herself as a retired priestess. And there is a lot of people here listening to her. I'm not the only one. Pressing R and chatting with her. Who are you? Chatting again. Where is this? More chats, but I still don't really remember it. And confirm. So let's see what's next for me here. Enjoy Devin Kruen's scenery with Margot. Pressing R. Okay, done with this one. Now I have uh, next destination. Let's go to there. Not too far. I guess we'll speak to her again. Yep. Okay, let's continue going up. Pressing R here and chat. Open the box. And a new main quest from here, journey begins, Margot is waiting, accepting that. Let's speak with her and confirm. Arrogant and Chet, what do you mean? Not your head. Confirm. Accept a new quest from Black Spirit. Journey begins. Memories return. The Black Spirit tells you to go to the end of the path Nana Margot's pointed to. Accept. Let's navigate. And 
looks like here I'm entering the main quest line, Mountain of Eternal Winter, which I did already recently on my other character Maiva. I will put links to part 1 and part 2 of Mountain of Eternal Winter Everfrost quest line in the description down below if you guys are interested to see how I did it. But with Shai now I will do it on my own and will return when I'm done. So I am speaking to Black Spirit right now and receiving all this Naru gear from him. And it is immediate just because I did the main quest line already and so a lot of this I already completed. I continue to speak with Black Spirit accepting quests which are like gifts. A gift to become stronger begin Black Spirit Stone. For the Naru gear, a gift to become stronger Naru gear. You just accept it from him and then speak with Black Spirit again and press confirm. A lot of repetitive things. Okay, now let's see what I have. Tons of Naru gear. I can just put it on myself. There you go, I'm all set for now. And also have inventory expansion, so let's do that real quick as well. There you go, and I'm ready to continue main quest line, Mountain of Eternal Winter. This is uh, the quest I'm currently on, Dragon Museum. I will see you guys later. So I finished the main quest line, Mountain of Eternal Winter Everfrost. I am currently level 51, a little bit over, and I am continuing on my path of leveling up and doing questing. I also noticed that I have more quests under Mountain of Eternal Winter that I did not have on my previous character, maybe because this one is a seasonal character or I'm not really sure. But currently I am on another quest which I accepted from Black Spirit and it is called Sides of Medaya to the far far away land of Medaya. And I need to meet with Elan Ray at Harsha Cliff. So that is where I'm currently going. I will be recording this because it is a little bit different from what I was doing before. I'm also curious to see what the rewards are for this. So let's look. So this will be contribution points XP and I will also get some combat XP. So it will help me level up my character as well. Some of it has and some of it doesn't but that is okay because at the end it will all stack up. And the very last quest will be ever frost hoon which is gift which my main character also had but in this case i have to complete sites of medaya so this is what i will be doing i know that at some point i will start have to grinding some mobs for combat xp but just right now i'm not feeling it yet and i see other people are here too so they have the same thing as i do pressing r Continue and confirm. And main quest from this young lady, Sides of Medaya, Ahon Karus, the leader of Tariff. Continue and accept. Let's see what I need to do here. I need to talk to Ahon Karus. Alien Ridge says Medaya lies straight ahead and recommends heading over to Tariff for some aid. Go talk with the Aban Karus. She spoke. T to navigate. Let's see on the map where we are going. Okay, so I will have to make a bit of a loop to get to Tariff. Wish I had my horse. Okay, I made it. Pressing R and continue and confirm. Next main quest. Sites of Medaya, a critical strike. Ahon Kirus says that she too has been looking into the followers of Eliezer. But first she needs ask you of a request. Let's hear out her request. Accept. And then need to defeat 70 mains. I guess that is her request. I hope I can take them. I don't really have much AP, but we'll do my best. Out of round and two there. Okay, so before I start killing mains, let's enhance my Naru gear. Gonna start with armor. And for this, I will need beginner blackstone armor, which I have tons of. And it is a uh, 100% chance, so I don't need any cron stones or anything really, just press enhance. I will do skip animation, not too much fun to watch. My current durability is 98. Now, even though you fail, you don't really lose that much durability and the percentages are still super high. So you just keep on going until you get to where you need to be. You might fail a few times, but then at the end you will still succeed.
And there you go. Here I am at Pry. And Duo. I wish it was that easy on the normal gear, guys. Try. Okay, let's see here. Now I am improved my DP up tremendously to 73. Let's enhance my helmet. So basically same thing. I'm just trying to enhance a little bit of everything before I go further and then try. If your durability falls too low and piece of gear barely has any health in it, you can always go to Fulgar and Fulgar is in every major city, usually next to Stable Keeper and you can buy Naru helmet or Naru chest piece, whatever you need from him and then recover the durability as you do a normal gear. My helmet has been a little bit peskier than my chest piece. I am doing Naru weapons the same way, except I am using beginner blackstone weapon instead of armor. And I do have quite a bit of it. So just following the same concept here, keep on clicking until it is what we want it to be. And it was a bit peskier than the rest. I still have pretty good health on it. Should we try for Ted? Let's try it. And there we go. Wasn't that hard? I don't know. Should we do the pen? Let's do the sub weapon first and then we will come back to try for pen. Or maybe I get lucky. I don't know. No, let's do the sub first. Where's my sub? There it is. So same thing. My durability is dying, but I can uh, repair it, so I'm not worried. What is it now? Should we go for Ted again? Oh lord! And here's Ted, so that's cool. Okay, where is my weapon? Should I go for Pen? I mean, that's the ultimate goal. I guess we're gonna try. And here is my first pen. What does this say? Pry Tuvala weapon. And I will convert. There it is. And now I have Pry Tuvala weapon, main weapon. And this is how you exchange Naru for Tuvala. It kind of just gives you the option there. Okay, and I will continue to work on the rest of my gear to get it to pen. Including my poor little sub weapon, which I will probably have to repair at some point because it's not doing too well. Come on, be pen. Oh, yay! I'm also converting it to Pry to Vala. Two done and more to go. There's my gloves that I need to get to Ted and Pen as well. My first pen gear for DP, Pry to Vala gloves. Converting that. Okay, guys, I will keep working on the rest and I will see you later. 
I am thinking this should be enough to help me fight the mains. Let's see what AP for mains is 80. And my current AP is 111, so I should be okay. Let's go and try those guys now. I need to kill 70 of them for my quest. Not bad. So I will continue killing mains until I got 70 and I will be back. There are a few people here that are doing the same thing I do and I don't want to step on anyone's toes. So I'm just kind of trying to be polite. Not kill someone else's mob since not that many of them in this particular spot. Come on, stop running. Okay, objective completed. I'm going to turn in the quest. I'm going back to Tariff. So running back to the same NPC where I took the quest, I really should fix my health. Confirm. Next main quest, Sides of Medaya, drive away the rogues, continue and we're going to accept it. Mains weren't the only problem, plug in tariff. Let's go teach a lesson to the wandering rogues who've also regained their strength. And here we need to defeat 100 wandering rogues, wonder who those are, let's look on the map. We're going to Highland Junction. To defeat the rogues and it's a wandering rogue den and also a p80 i think i should be able to take them as well out of pathing to it here i am i wonder if these guys count and they do so i can just kill whatever these wolves as well Okay, I will just continue killing these guys and I will be back when I'm done. Okay, so I finished this quest. I also got Ndo, a Soul's Crimson Eye Ring because I killed 500 of these guys. I'm going to run and turn in the quest. R, continue and confirm. And she has a new main quest for me, Sides of Medaya, what the suspicious man left behind. Continue and accept and let's see what we need to do with that. Investigate the suspicious tome. Sounds okay to me. Let's navigate to it. And it's still here in tariff, so don't need to go far away. Pressing R. Chat. Read the first page of the book. Continue. Next. And confirm. And next main quest from here. Sides of Medaya where the tome points. Let's accept that quest as well. If I open up a map takes me to abandoned iron mine AP70 so I should be able to take them and I need to kill 150 of them so let's go to there auto pathing I am at abandoned iron mine I will start slaying these guys and be with you when I'm done And I am done killing these guys, I'm just gonna stay here some more to level up a bit and then I will turn in the quest. Okay, in order to turn in this quest, we need to speak to Black Spirit. Continue and confirm. Let's see here. And the next quest is Sides of Medaya. Where is it? And I need to defeat 100 Helms. And we accept it from Black Spirit. Go into main quest and there it is. Continue and accept. Let's see on the map where it is. Okay, this is where we go in AP90, so I should be able to take them as well. We'll see you guys there. I'm done with these guys, I'm going to run around level up some more and then I will turn in the quest. To turn in this quest we need to summon black spirit, continue and confirm. The next quest is Sites of Medaya Ancient Gen Chi. We need to meet Tandu in the mausoleum, also summoning black spirit to accept it, going to main quests. And here is the quest, Sites of Medaya Ancient Gen Chief. Accept. Let's see where I'm going. We 
will leave my horse here. Here is the NPC, pressing R. Confirm. And he has a next quest. Sides of Medaya, skilled scout. Except, meet Sahanan in Elric Shrine. Let's see where I'm going. Not too far. He is hiding Sanahan, not Sahanan. Call him Sahanan. Confirm. Next quest, Sides of Medaya, Erlik Shrine, Investigation, taking that. Except, let's see what I need to do. Defeat 150 monsters in Erlik Shrine. So I just need to kill these guys. 150 of them, that's not that many. I see this guy started already. And it looks like you can get a solo Crimson Eye Belt try if you kill 1000. I don't know if I should pick up loot or not, I don't have my pets out, but I can get some out. Almost done here. I'm done with the quest, I'm gonna run around and level up some more in here and turn in the quest after. Okay, and I will turn in the quest. Two black spirit looks like. Continue and confirm. And next quest from black spirit, sides of Medaya, most suspicious spot at Elric Shrine. Accept. And here we need to examine the dark talisman, whatever that is, let's navigate to it. Looks like I'm not the only one who goes there. Talking to a wall, I guess. Or chat. Examine the talisman carefully. And confirm. Looks like next quest is from Black Spirit. Accept. Sides of Medaya, where death rises, and I need to defeat 70 monsters in Soldier's Cemetery. Let's find my horse. Okay, let's see on the map. Soldier's Cemetery, I need 100 AP to hang here, I think I should be able to. Okay, I'm here, almost, and I'm running the rest of the way, if I remember correctly. These uh, soldiers, yep, spawn on the road, so it's not safe for horse. And I need to kill 70 of them, so I'll get busy with that. I'm done here, let's see where I turn in the quest. Confirm. New quest from her. Sides of Medaya, the secret of the ancient ruins. Accept. And I need to defeat 100 monsters in Hasra ruins. Hasra ancient ruins, level 55-56. Looks like few people are here. Okay, let's begin. I need to kill 100 of them. Okay, and I'm done here. Let's see where I need to turn in this quest. Two black spirit, pressing that. Confirm. Next quest from black spirit, sides of Medaya, Sarma outpost manager, accepting that. Let's see what I need to do. Meet Narava Rakum, I guess this is the manager. And I am going to Sarma outpost. Okay, I made it to here. Speak with node manager. Confirm. Next main quest from her. Sides of Medaya, Bestial, Dear Sossens. Continue and accept. And she wants me to defeat 150 Sossens. Let's get on it. And they are right here if you look on the map. Not far. I remember coming a lot to Sossens back in the days. It was the spot to be. All I need is 150 of them. Yeah! 
one third way there already. Four more and I'm done. This is a nice bunch here. Okay, and I am done. Let's get out of here and see where I turn this in. Going back to Sarma Outpost, probably to the same node manager. There she is glowing for me. Let's turn this in or continue and confirm the next main quest from her, Sides of Medaya, Eliezer's Past. Let's accept that. And we need to investigate around Medaya Castle. Where's my horse? Out of pathing. And I'm going to Medaya Castle at the entrance. Not too far. Run on foot the rest of the way. And uh, looks like some boxes. Pressing R. Confirm. Next quest from Black Spirit. Continue and accept. And it's called Sides of Medaya Traces Left Behind in the Castle. Talk to the Black Spirit. Okay, so pressing comma again to speak with Black Spirit. Chat. Ask the Black Spirit about where we should go next. Continue. And confirm. Unaccepted next quest is Hunvich's Gift. Receive Hunvich's Gift from Black Spirit. Okay, talking to Black Spirit again. Main quest, Everfrost, Hunwich's gift. Accept. Now we need to speak to Black Spirit again. Few continues and confirm. And I have a Skybridge box, which was the gift for this last quest. And I am done with the Mountain of Eternal Winter Everfrost main questline, as well as Sides of Medaya questline. Now I'm just going to level up and see what else I can do on this new shy character that I have. I also need to upgrade my Tuvala gear further. Might be my next video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.